What's up everybody, Sparrow again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we actually got a little bit creative and were able to do a couple different um, contracts all at one time. Um, transition space around the curb. So we actually have a couple smaller ones left and then we have the moon. We can also check out the new ones, see if there's any active- Ooh! We got another perform visual survey thing. Miscalculation alpha beta. Take a crew port in flight below 17,000 near site G. Hmm. We get a lot of money for that. We're going to grab that one. Uh, duration of five years. Uh, we want you to test the Mark II radial mount parachute in flight above Kerbin. It's interesting. Altitude 1800 meters. That's not bad. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. The poodle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a landed one. Always take the landed ones. They're so easy to do. Um, want you to test. Decoupler. Okay. Satellite ones seem very difficult, so we're gonna check out what these other ones are first. Rescue. Hmm. That's a lot of money. But that could be really complicated. Uh, test Rocco Max. 83,000 meters. Wow. There's no speed limit on those, though. Yeah, we'll grab that one. Um, okay, I think we're at max. Visual survey of the moon. Escape trajectory, escape trajectory. Okay. Alright, now we do have some more science. So, we should probably look into this. We got advanced construction. Which is more decouplers. Uh, fuel tanks. Uh... Ooh, fuel lines. That would probably be worth it just to be able to do asparagus systems. Of course, then we have the bigger stuff, which is always a good thing. Uh, RCS stuff. Solar panels, which would be cool. Science Junior and Thermometer. That one would be good just because it'd be a better way to get more... Um, science data. Since we're not going out too far at the moment, we haven't been needing asparagus, so I'm going to go with this one. Um, mostly just because it will allow me... The lab I'm not that worried about, but it will allow me to have a thermometer, which gives us more science. Uh, and then we're 50 science away from being able to buy another one. I'm not too worried about upgrading my science lab until all these are done, to be honest. Um, that way, it, it'll it'll be a bit more like we've done everything we can kind of thing. Alright, so what are our missions here? Oh, one thing we could do. Uh, let's check the map, and then we could actually take a flight with our um, our jet that actually works. Uh, load. Though I am going to have... Is this the right one? Yeah, this was on the fly. I'm going to have a problem once we complete the uh, gear bay mission because then these will go away, so we might want to keep that in mind. Uh, because if we don't, we're going to complete that mission at some point, and then my landing gears are going to go bye-bye, which is not cool. Alright, so now that we're out here on the le tarmac, uh, let's throw the brakes down. Okay, where are we going here? This is the... Um, this is the flight one, where we have to take it under 1,700 meters, and these are our two um, locations. Okay, so let's do a quick save. 
Um, actually, we'll do a uh, Derby Airlines pre-launch save. That way, I can quick save along the way. Alright, and we're going to keep an eye on this too. Alright, pull up, 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 pull up. I'm always afraid with this, with this, um, ground the way it is of, like, bouncing. Okay, pull up the, ooh, jeez, I forgot how well this thing can turn. Okay, so I'm headed, so I need to bring it around this way. And we all remember what happened the last time I just tried to, like, jerk the the stick over and make it turn. You know, it ended up just laughing at me and not turning at all. So I'm trying to kind of just tap it a little bit. Keep our nose up. So this plane actually does really well well. Like, this is the second time that we've used it in a mission. And we're not, we still haven't, like, died in it yet, which is kind of amazing to me. Alright, save that out. So now we should be lined up. Oh, this arc might be, okay, so... <laughs> I don't know why this is here, in the fashion that it's here, but we are making a little beeline towards our objective. Uh, we could probably bring our nose down a bit, we don't really need to climb that much. We really just need to keep from falling, we don't really need to climb that high though. We actually need to keep it under... 17,000, which we're way under, I mean, that's not a problem, but... Okay. So I'm gonna try something a little bit risky here, without moving. I'm gonna try and speed this up. And see how well it goes. It's not actually going too bad. The thing you gotta watch out for is movement. Entering site G for report. I can see my house from here. Okay, so we did that part. Let's quick save it here then. Now we need to set this as the active navigation. Oh, and I found out. Well, I, I shouldn't say I found out. I'm not really 100% positive. Um, the flight planning that we talked about at one point, like, I don't know how the flight planning works. Um, I think it's nodes. Yeah, add maneuver node. So now we can do that. That's what the um, adding flight planning to the tracking station and all that did. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Closing in on the target. I'm actually enjoying flying, like, the jets in Kerbal a bit more than I have been rocketry lately. Which is very strange for me. Okay, now let's cut the engines and throw out the gears. Um... Because I kind of want to... I don't know how far away we are from that, but I'd kind of like to just coast and glide in at this point. Because then we can just kind of land um, and once we're on the ground we can kind of do what we did in the last episode and use this as more of a glorified car. <laughs> um, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm a knucklehead, though. I should have... I got so excited about using a successful plane that I didn't bother um, 
to add a thermometer to this where we could actually have been taking um, data. Also, it would be kind of cool, I don't know if this would work or not, but to put parachutes on here, kind of like you see in the... Um, I'm not sure, it's not like the... You see it in movies and stuff, but I mean, they actually use that too, is to where once you land, you'll blow the chutes and they come out the back of the jet kind of thing to slow it down. I don't remember what kinds of of uh, jets and stuff use those, but it's pretty cool. The only thing I'm concerned is ew, with the um, radial ones that you could probably fit here, I don't know if it will actually go out to the back or if it would go up, uh, and then you're just picking your tail end up, which isn't all that wonderful either. Nope, 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 nope. Gosh, I'm terrible at landings. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay. Um, trying this again. Let's do a... Uh, Derpy Airlines mid-flight. That way I can actually quick save to this as we get lower. Maybe if I pull up a bit more and make myself more of a brick... Maybe then it will uh, slow me down more. Because I think that's the problem. I'm not positive, but I kind of think that's the problem is um, slowing down enough. But I think we're going. We're basically coming into fast. That and the uneven terrain makes it kind of bumpy. So we'll save here. What I'm almost... I'm, I'm leery of locking up the brakes. Because I'm afraid it might, like, cause a problem in... Um, oh, hi. I just noticed that you're not set to my nav point. That's not cool. Apparently that does not save in between quick saves. Um, but since we have a decent amount of room... As far as, you know, it's way out there. We don't have to land right away. Making ourselves as slow as possible is probably a good thing, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Meant to do that, sort of. Technically, we don't actually have to keep the plane on a technical level. Um, it, like that, where the as long as the cockpit survives, we could, in fact, actually... Um, <laughs> we could, in fact, just walk over there, but that would just take forever. <sighs> Dang, it keeps bouncing. That's the problem. I suck at landings. That's the problem, though, is it keeps, like, bouncing when it hits. I don't know if I'm just coming in too fast or what exactly I'm doing. Um, or if I'm too... I might have my nose too high. Maybe. No. Oh. oh, see, it just... See, like that? We don't... Hey, look at that! We just... <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> All we did was pop the nose off. That's hilarious. I am thinking it would be kind of cool to have um, parachutes on it, though. That would be kind of neat. Okay, so that worked a little bit better. The problem is that I, I can't keep it from flipping. Seems to be my issue at the moment. Like, see, it bounces and then tips over. Once I hit, then it tips it forward. And it ends up bouncing it kind of thing. It might be because I'm holding the brake. I'm not sure. Let's try a bit more of a narrow landing and see if it doesn't bounce as much. Nope, that's just... Okay. <laughs> How many ways can you crash an airplane? You know what's frustrating is I did this before, so I know it can be done. I've done it. But it's either this spot or how quickly I'm coming in. But something is not working right. It's just too fast.
to be honest. Like, I don't know how to slow the plane down any more than I already am. Other than maybe like this to keep keep it level. Um, let's quick save that. See, now we actually slowed down quite a bit. Just from popping the engine a little bit more. But I don't know if that's enough. No, it keeps... it just keeps flipping over. I can't keep it from bouncing. That's what's driving me nuts, is as soon as one of the wheels hits, I end up going some direction, and it ends up just flipping me everywhere kind of thing. I think... I think this... Eh, no, 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 dang it! That was so close! See what I'm talking about? You probably already have, like, the 19 times I've tried to do this. Is that it keeps, like, rolling and stuff, which is not good. Um, it's probably that I'm going, like, uphill or something. Dang it! It pitches to the side every freaking time. This worked before. That's what's driving me nuts. It's like I've, I've landed before. In this plane, actually. It's not even a new plane. It's like, nope, I've, I've done it with this one. Nope. Every time! It's going forward and to the left. Every time. But if I hold a different key, I'm afraid it's it's gonna... Like, screw it up even more kind of thing. Let's do something a little different. This is probably not a smart idea, but... Nope, 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 dang it! That was so close! I'm s I'm right there. I'm right there. That's what's bugging me. Like, I normally wouldn't do it this many times in one episode if I was... If I didn't feel like I was right on the edge of actually making it work. Nope, stop flipping! Oh my gosh! I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Like, I'm sure of that. I've, I've seen way too many people do this successfully for me to <laughs> blame it on, like, the ship or something. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 stop! Stop flipping! All it has to do is stay straight. If it could just stay straight, I could land it, but it keeps tipping over. And I'm trying to kind of maybe glide in at an angle and dissipate some of the some of the speed a bit more. Nope. It doesn't help that it keeps flipping in the same direction either. That's just demoralizing. It's like nothing I'm doing is changing the way that it's flipping, which is really aggravating. Um. Nope. I say that, and then it decides it wants to flip the other way. Good lord! <sighs> I've never had this much of a problem landing a plane. You know what? Let's just... try it a different way. Let's try... Not... Oh! Nope. That was close. That was better. <laughs> if it hadn't bounced and turned sideways again. Too fast. And flip. Good lord. This is so bad. Like, literally, this is literally a video on what not to do. Like, everything I'm doing is things you should not do. I'm gonna land this stupid frickin' plane. It's gonna happen. I may have to pause it, though, because we're almost out of time for the whole video. I've wasted so much time on crashing. Oop. Nope. Don't you flip. Don't you flip. Break. Break. 
break. No! No! Dang! Nabbit! Oh, that was so close! That was so close. Like, literally, that's genuine frustration right there. <laughs> that was so close! Bounce! No! No! Stop it! Stop it! This is like a million ways to die in Kerbal. Alright. What did I do that last time that kept it straight and not flipping? Oh my gosh, this is so aggravating. Alright, I pulled back, I turned the engine on, I bounced... No, cut! 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 cut. Tap the brakes! Tap the brakes! Tap it! I don't wanna... I don't wanna slam on the brakes! No! 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 Terrain! Don't you screw me over, Terrain! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Alright, maybe? Maybe? I think it's safe to- Oh, I can't quick save while moving, I hate you. Aha! <laughs> we have landed! Alright, alright. Wow, that was probably one of the worst things I've ever experienced in this game. Whew. All right, so I'm going to waddle myself over here, and we'll be back in a second so that we don't eat up the rest of our time here. Okay, so I actually managed to get up this hill and into the um, Site A section. I'm going to go ahead and set the nav beacon to Site B. Um, now for the fun part, I also did not get a... Um, is it Eva report? Take an Eva report. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, reset. Eva report. There we go. Collecting survey data. Okay. All right. So we got that part. Now we get to. Ooh, no! 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 Okay, now wait a minute, where- oh crap. This- no, why did it deactivate? There it is, okay. So, we need- ooh, that's a little- a little much. We need to head- a little much. Uh, back over this way, preferably without tipping our ship over. Like that! Dang it. Okay. I am so done with this mission. Um, this is about an hour and a half later <laughs> of, of doing all this. I managed to finally get into the zone where I can do the EVA report. Barely managed to get out. Um, board anyway. Recover. I'm done. I'm so done. That was like the hardest mission I've ever done in my life on this game. <sighs> Alright. 124 science total. That's good. We're up to 131 grand. Also good. Don't know why he didn't gain any experience from that. Um, Should probably do the fuel system thing here, I'm thinking, or solar panels, because I almost ran out of charge on that one. Um, yeah, well, no, I can load things up with batteries until I get... Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do this, because we can research with temperature and stuff, too. And then our next our next shot is going to be the fuel system. Um, all right, so I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Perform a visual survey of Kerbin. What was the other one? Oh, it was all that? Okay. I think we're going to wrap things up for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.